Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the video useful, please subscribe to the channel. In this video, we'll use factor theorem to factor the given polynomial. As you can see, this polynomial expression has four terms. We cannot use grouping method to factor this polynomial, so we'll have to use factor theorem. The leading coefficient for this polynomial is 1 the coefficient of the x cube term. There is an invisible one with x cube. This is the leading coefficient because the exponent on the x is the greatest on this term. So that's why the leading coefficient of this polynomial is equal to 1. The number term in this polynomial expression is negative 10. Since the leading coefficient is equal to 1, the possible factors for this polynomial expression are the factors of negative 10. The possible factors of negative 10 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 5, and plus minus 10. So these factors of negative 10 are also the possible factors for this polynomial. Now we have to find which of these factors make the value of this polynomial equal to 0. Let's assume this polynomial is represented by a function f at x. We have to sub in these factors one by one in this function. Let's start with x equals 1. So we should sub in x as 1 in this function. I get negative 12. Next, we can use x equals negative 1. So we can sub in x as negative 1 in the function f at x. I get 0 when I combine these terms. That means the polynomial is equal to 0 for x equals negative 1. We can find the binomial factor for this polynomial. We should add 1 to both sides. So a factor for this polynomial is x plus 1. Next, we should divide the given polynomial by the factor x plus 1 to find the quotient for this polynomial division. We can use polynomial long division or synthetic division. I'll use synthetic division because it's easier and faster. We start by writing the coefficients of the terms in the given polynomial expression. Next, we write the x value for which the function value is equal to 0. That's negative 1. Now we can start the synthetic division. We bring the first coefficient down. Next, we do negative 1 times 1, which is equal to negative 1, and we write the result under the next coefficient, 4. Now, we add the numbers 4 and negative 1. Next, we do negative 1 times 3, which is equal to negative 3, 
and we write the result under negative 7. Next we add negative 7 and negative 3. Next we multiply negative 1 by negative 10 which is equal to positive 10 and we write the result under negative 10. Next we add these numbers negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0. Since the last result is equal to 0 that confirms that x plus 1 is a factor of the given polynomial. The degree of the quotient of this polynomial division will be 2 because the degree of the dividend is 3 and the degree of the divisor is 1. So we should assign x squared to the first number 1, x to the second number 3 and the third number will be the number term. So the given polynomial expression can be written in factored form as Now we have to factor the expression in the second parentheses. It is a simple trinomial. So we can use the sum and product method to factor this expression. We have to find two numbers whose sum is 3 and product is negative 10. We should analyze the product number to find the two numbers. Two numbers that multiply to negative 10 are negative 1 and 10. But we cannot get a sum of 3 from negative 1 and 10. So this pair is out. The next pair of numbers that multiplies to negative 10 is negative 2 and 5. negative 2 plus 5 is equal to 3. So this pair works. So the factored form for x squared plus 3x minus 10 can be written as we start with the first factor x plus 1 and next we write x minus 2 times x plus 5. So this is the completely factored form for the given polynomial expression. So these are the steps we have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Overcal. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.